Hey guys, I'm back with another uh, video today. This is about the Clemson Alabama National Championship. Alabama's back in the natty. Congratulations on Clemson for getting here. It was an excellent year by them. They um they've gone fourteen and zero, blew out just about every single opponent, even down to their third string quarterback Chase Bryce. They beat Syracuse. They've had really a phenomenal year. They beat the brakes off of Florida State. Beat the brakes off of Notre Dame. I mean, there's really not much I can say. About them, they've just been dominant like they always have. Dabo Sweeney is such a good coach. I cannot uh, give him more credit than I already have. He's really built that program like no other. I mean, Clemson was kind of non-relevant before Dabo Sweeney got there. Dabo Sweeney, the Alabama alum, mind you. But he's really done a lot for that program. And they're back to the national championship game for the third time in four years. And Alabama's back for the fourth straight year in a row. Let, let that sink in. Alabama's back to the national championship for the fourth straight year in a row and are prepared to win their third national championship. And it'll be a back-to-back -back pair. But just these two teams got here. They've been dominant. Really, they've been the best two teams. You could have the BCS system and you got to a game like this. Trevor Lawrence is an awesome player. So is Tua Tagovailoa. Just outstanding teams. Great old lines. Great defenses. The um, Alabama and Clemson D-line are phenomenal. Spectacular. Impeccable. I mean, I don't know what else to say. They're just... Great. More than great. They're phenomenal. They're the best in college football. But. Time for my predictions. And I'm going to go in detail on this game. I'll give you my score prediction at the end. This game will be tough for Alabama. More than Alabama fans think so. It will be a hard fought game. It may come down to the wire a little bit. I think Alabama will maybe fall behind a touchdown early. Two touchdowns early, maybe even. But I think Alabama will bounce back and retake the lead. I think Trevor Lawrence will have a meaty ogre game somewhat. I think he'll do pretty good in the passing game. But I do think he's he'll make plenty plenty mistakes. He is a freshman, but that has that has not stopped freshmen in the past from doing great before. I mean, look at Jake Fromm last year almost won it. I know Tua wasn't the starter, but he won it last year for Alabama. The year before, Jalen Hurts almost won it. I mean, it's not like it's impossible for freshmen to come close or win a national championship, but. He is still a freshman, even though he's probably going to be, like, the number one quarterback taken in the 2021 draft. But that's a long time down the road. I think Alabama will not have the success of running the ball that they think they will. I think it'll be tough for them in that they uh, won't expect it, and it may throw their game plan playing off a little bit. I think that once Alabama gets into plays where they're comfortable throwing the ball, that they will just hit on that and Tua will have a huge game as long as he doesn't get injured. I mean, I know Tua, I mean, not Tua, Clemson has a phenomenal D-line, probably the best in college football, maybe the second best behind Alabama. But one of the best D-lines in college football. Uh, Dexter Lawrence will be suspended, which will hurt Clemson tremendously. But they still got a great D-line. I mean, look at uh, Farrell, Christian Wilkins. Number seven, Bryant really stepped up in the Notre Dame game. 
I mean, they just got one of the best D-lines maybe ever in college football history. I mean, that's just a great D-line. But I think our offensive line will stand up in a way or rise to the challenge and actually deal with this defensive line a whole lot. I think Tua will stay healthy. And I think there will be a lot more Tua Jalen package where Tua or Jalen's takes a snap and passes it to one another. Probably more Jalen passing it to Tua or maybe even Tua passing it to Jalen. Not Jalen passing it to Tua, but Jalen passing overall. I think Clemson on offense will have a little bit of success running the ball. Not too much, though. It it won't be, like, overwhelmed trying to run the ball. And I think their passing game will, I've already said it, it'll probably be a little bit mediocre. But I do think they're short. They will connect on many short completions, and that'll benefit them in a lot of ways. I also think that this will be a tight game. And our defense will have to step up in ways. And I think they will. As of stat lines, I guess I'll give you a couple big players stat line predictions. I think Tua will have a great game and plenty of touchdowns. Uh, I don't don't think Album will have many rushing touchdowns. Uh, I think Jerry, Judy, and Henry Ruggs will have big games combined. I think Trevor Lawrence will have a mediocre game, kind of. A little bit above average, a little bit maybe. An okay-ish game. I think Travis Etienne will have a pretty mediocre game. I do think Justin Ross will have a huge game, though. And he'll be probably the best wide receiver on the uh, corner. And might torch Alabama's defense a little bit. I mean, you said you see what T uh, C D Lamb and Rambo of Oklahoma did to Alabama the other day. So it'll be tough. And I think the defenses. I think Clemson's defense will maybe be good at first, and maybe coming out of halftime. But I. We'll think they will get tired. I do think they will get tired. And not just tired, but overwhelmed by Alabama's offense. And begin to eventually let up big and explosive plays. That's all I gotta say about that. Um, Clemson's defense... I already covered them, my bad. I mean, Alabama's defense will have some good moments. We'll have some bad moments. What will... But we'll play pretty solid through most of the game. As of a score prediction, that's tough. A score prediction. This is going. This is one hundred percent going to change probably. But a score prediction for right now is Bama thirty-eight, Clemson thirty-four. A little bit of a close one. A little bit. Of a one down to the wire. An instant classic. And. Can we just talk about this for a moment. This rivalry. This may be one of the best. Out of conference. Not just out of conference. I don't know how to put it. But out of conference. Non. Intended rivalry. You talk about teams just meeting up. Randomly. This is probably the best rivalry. The most competitive rivalry. I mean. Ah. They're going to meet every year, it seems like, whether it's a playoff or a national title game. Seems like Alabama and Clemson will meet every year. Every year. I look forward to part five next year. But Clemson has done more than just gone. Alabama's done more than just beat Clemson these past past few years and play them. If you don't remember 2008. Uh, the season that really jump started Alabama's Nick Saban. I mean, Nick Saban's amazing legacy at Alabama being one of the best coaches in their history of sports in general. 
we played Clemson to kick off that season. Clemson was a favorite, I do believe, and we overcame the odds and beat them. So Clemson has played a big part in Nick Saban and the Alabama legacy. But I think this will be an entertaining game. I think this will be a good game. But I think Alabama prevails on top. And a little bit of a comeback, but not really a comeback game. But Alabama is your 2018-19 to National Champions. I... Oh, and as for MVP, I think the offensive MVP, MVP of the game will be Tua Tagovailoa. And I think the defensive MVP of the game will be Deontay Thompson. Yeah, Deontay Thompson. But that's all the predictions and that I got today. But just think about this before I go. Both of these teams are 14-0. No team in the history of college football has gone 15-0 and and won every single game, playing 15 games. Because prior to 2014, all they had was, a B- was the BCS system, where you played 14 games. And now they have the playoff system... Where you play an extra playoff game. So now it's 15. And no one's ever won 15 games and gone completely undefeated. And I think Alabama will do that. And become the greatest team. As a whole. The greatest team. In the history of college football. That's all I have for today. Don't remember to like. Comment and subscribe. Roll Tide.